Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you're doing well. Andrew Tate has been banned from Instagram, I've heard. And what I think, I don't like the guy, but what I find odd is that he didn't, on his Instagram account, he did not violate the community guidelines. And he has not done any call to violence. He has not done things that would merit a banning. He is a millionaire, so he can make his own app, get it on the App Store for Apple and Android. He can do that. He can also invest his money on going on to Getter, Minds, True Social, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, to promote uh, free speech. Okay, Liberals don't promote free speech. They instead will ban you instead of arguing with your ideas. Censorship will get worse and worse as time goes ahead. That's why it's important to expand to these alternative websites. Or essentially we call them new tech. Because they'll give you a chance to just have a real environment. YouTube is artificially controlled. And they manipulate the algorithm. They manipulate everything. It's heavily infested with bots, and they shadow ban, suppress, and demote tons of honest people. Now, what's kind of sad is that the people who like that guy, they won't be able to just follow his simple Instagram page. I didn't follow him. I wouldn't follow someone like that. But... If women can promote pornography, their OnlyFans, be half naked, if you can post videos that are teaching three-year-olds and four-year-olds that they can become the other gender, and the Church of Satan can put videos on there, rappers can put gang videos on there, why can't somebody just have their page up? What they're really trying to do, though, the feminists, is they're trying to let you know they have the positions of authority in mainstream tech. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter are leftist center holds. So you have to stop thinking you're going to avoid them. You have to join other websites. You have to encourage your friends to join other websites. MeWe is an alternative to Facebook. You have to build those communities, go to those communities, make your own apps, and go there. When leftists took down Parler, they also sent a message. They really try hard to reduce people's ability to express themselves while claiming to be tolerant and inclusive. They're not tolerant and inclusive. They want you to adopt their ideas, and then they whine when you don't agree with them and instead of trying to win and persuade you they just ban you they'll label you as dangerous they have all kinds of buzzwords you name it so if I were you and you want to create content that is pro masculinity you need to lead by example you need to expand to different websites don't put all your eggs in one basket and understand that deplatforming is something that the liberal secular atheists want. They don't want masculinity, they want it gone from the internet. Okay? They really do not desire that you hear anything that goes against their new liberal matriarchal utopia and their soy society, <laughs> soy society, soy boy stuff. And so you essentially have to really work on how do you go about promoting what it is you want to promote because it's absurd what they did and it was not surprising if they'll ban Trump the president they'll ban anybody they love to ban I mean liberals can't handle arguments so when they're going to come closer and closer to your children with their agendas, they're going to make sure they try to ban you. That's why your favorite shahs, your favorite influencers, 
encourage them to expand all tech, support them so they can afford to have a good setup. You yourself need to get on other platforms and do Dawa there. You cannot just rely on the main apps because the future is digital as well. You can give street Dawa no problem, but online you reach people from across the world and that is very powerful. And so as Andrew Tate goes on the list of people who've been banned who go against liberals, you have to recognize who liberals are and stop feeling sorry for them. Stop thinking they care about you. Stop thinking that they're civil, loving, and all the fake stuff. They're playing for keeps. They're taking territory, digital territory that is. They're in your schools. They're in Silicon Valley. They control the media. They're making their moves and what are you doing? You can't just sit back and say, okay, I'll just get another influencer. Eventually, everyone who's left is going to be shilling for them. And then you'll be desperate, wanting truth, wanting realness, authenticity. But liberals, they don't value that. They have totally different antithetical values that are worse than red pill. So, think about it. Think about how you yourself can make sure you get your message out and how others can keep getting their message out because they're only going to increase and since 2016 they've done mass bannings and don't feel worried when you first join some of these alt tech sites there's a lot of right wing Christians there that are kind and some who are not towards Islam but if you just keep doing your work block those people who bother you and then have your friends and community join, you'll have your niche wing of Islamic Dawah on those apps and it'll be perfect. So, think of solutions. Tate is a millionaire, he'll be fine without you. He don't need you. Okay, He's got ways to make money without you. Rather, what you need to think about is how you maintain composure, in such a difficult time and how are you going to go about making sure your favorite influencers survive and thrive and that the message of Islam ma proper masculinity not like the kind Tate is promoting but our version is able to proliferate I've been warning all of you for quite some time over and over and over debanking deplatforming it is the strategy of the cultural Marxists, the secular liberal atheists and occultists. Okay? They're making it clear. They're in the medical community, they're everywhere. And they're global. So you need to prepare for that. Get on those different apps. I've told you a thousand times about it. And it's encourage you know, I don't encourage Tate anything. But if you're a fan of his, talk about old tech. And if he says, I don't need it, then why are you worried? You know what I mean? He's going to be fine without you. But for the creators who are on YouTube and other platforms, on dinosaur platforms that you like, encourage them to expand. Because the calling is only going to increase.